Hi, I'm not down on my luck, I'm a writer. <laughs> I, I, I always look like this. Um, I have nothing against nuns. Some of my, some of my favourite royalty statements involve nuns. But, and even, you know, my second child who's here today, Henry, I think he was born in a, in a hospital where even if there weren't any nuns immediately visible, you just got the feeling they were somewhere about. There was a sense of nunnery in the, in the place. So I don't have anything against them. But the thing is, our second pregnancy had no complications. It went fine, but our first one didn't. And we were lucky enough to be in England when it happened. And it made the next few days, hard as they were, a lot easier knowing that we were in a place that took women's reproductive health seriously. And then when I got back to Ireland and I realised I wasn't in a country that took women's reproductive health seriously, I was very ashamed that I brought my wife here. Um, but anyway, I think that's going to change because I don't think a situation like that can go on. Now that we all know what happened with the Magdalene laundries, now that we all know what happened with the mass graves and two, there's no way we're going to go back to that state. You like how I paused for applause there? <laughs> I'd like to leave you with uh, just the words of a priest who's very dear to my heart. He's no longer with us. His name is Father Jack Hackett. <laughs> And it's his advice I look to when I think about nuns and hospitals. And it's this. Nuns, reverse, reverse, reverse. <laughs>